super aggressive with the paint. Okay, so today we are going to be making some corbels for Jamie. She really wanted something to decorate up the uh, the hall entry there to the bedrooms that's pretty plain, just standard doorway or hallway. And so we're going to cut these out on the scroll saw and I'll show you how to do that and get in here to cut the insides. I'm going to do the outside first so that it's easier to work with. I might have to cut this down to fit it in here and then we'll go from there. Okay, now to do the inside, you just find a corner here that you want to start at. And drill a hole. This is a 7 seconds. It'll fit my blade in there just fine. And that's how you're going to uh, get on the inside there without cutting a line through this wood. So you just poke your blade through the hole, then reattach it, and tighten it back up. Make sure that uh, it's connected to the bottom good, and then uh, away you go. Okay, so now that I have one cut out, I'm going to use this as my pattern. If you needed to use a pattern and you didn't want to freehand it like I did on the first one, you could just easily go print something off and use that for your pattern, a design you like, or, or go make one on a drawing program pretty quick and easy. But to make sure they match, I'm just going to use the one I've already cut out and use that as my template. Okay, so I've got both of my corbels cut out here. You can see they're, they're pretty close to matching. I'm not a CNC machine, but uh, you know, pr pretty good. I'm gonna sand them down real quick, and then uh, I'm gonna attach them to the frame that we're gonna put them on, and I'll show you how to build that. <laughs> Okay, so I ripped this one by down to about an inch and three quarters. Yeah, real close. And I'm just going to mount it like this. We're going to have a 45. We'll do it at eight inches. So I don't measure the second one typically, I just use this to measure so I get them both perfectly exact. Yeah. 
Now I'm going to do 45s on the protruding end. It's easier right now to wipe off any excess glue than to try to sand in these corners. So I wipe it off first. before it dries. Okay, so we've got a couple of corbels here. Just took about an hour and a half to make them. It's real easy to cut the centers out if you need to do it like that. You could also use a jigsaw, router these edges, do different style up here, cut that out more ornate, whatever you really want to do. You, sky's the limit on cutting these things out. My wife's going to paint these on her channel and we're going to install them in the house. If you want to see the finished product, be sure to hop over to Jamie Ray Vintage on YouTube and you can see the finished product there.